I retired to this beautiful, gorgeous city, San Clemente. Just loved it. The weather's perfect, gorgeous beaches, friendly people. Uh, this is the first time I've ever felt at home in my life is when I moved to San Clemente. So I can't think of any place I'd rather live. And then I read in the paper that San Onofre nuclear plant was was actually firing workers for reporting safety problems to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Prior to reading that, I thought, if you're running a nuclear plant, you're gonna be super careful because the consequences are just unbelievable. You know, we would basically lose Southern California. Yeah, that's our concern. Will San Onofre be the next Fukushima? At the time, I was writing a regular article for the local papers. Next thing you know, I'm getting a call from someone else that works there that wanted their identity protected, and they had the information specifically about the steam generators. Radiation leak at an American nuclear power plant, San Onofre, 45 miles north of San Diego, California. These steam generators are lemons. If you get by a car that's a lemon, you get to give it back. Compared to other steam generators in the industry, those numbers by themselves are not alarming. It's what, not true. After 11 months? They were often just nuclear cowboys doing things that no reasonable person would do. There's information that shows that Edison knew that these steam generators were defective before they were installed, and yet they installed them anyways. In a blatant disregard for the cameras or anything else, you just like, you get over here, like he's in command of this NRC meeting. And that's the scary part, is he was. For the citizens, there's no way in the world that we are going to allow this nuclear power plant to become a nuclear waste dump for 200 years. They have 51 canisters. Each canister contains more radiation, more cesium-137, than was released from Chernobyl. We don't want this nuclear waste buried at the beach, just above the water level, 100 feet from the ocean. Who thought of this? This is crazy. There were gross errors on the part of two individuals, the operator and the rigger. So what we have is, is a canister that could have fallen 18 feet. I have to, I have to leave. You know, you just look at what happened in Fukushima. Broke up families, changed their life, wrecked a beautiful place in Japan. That's gonna, that's our future. If we don't, if we don't stop this, and we're running out of time. We're running out of time.